Welcome to Leica Microsystems DMI-1 Setup Guide. Please refer to the instruction manual for detailed assembly instructions and important safety information before proceeding with the instrument assembly. Place the instrument box on a clean, flat, and stable surface, preferably on the ground. Carefully open the box. Please note that the contents may vary depending on the version of the microscope that you have received. The top container includes the instructions and an inventory list for your review. Underneath the top container is the microscope body and camera, if ordered. You will receive the following. A dust cover, eyepieces if they are not fixed in the stand, round stage insert, power cord, phase slider, objectives, and condenser. And you will receive the following items, if applicable, to your configuration. A light filter, camera remote, attachable object guide, and inserts. First, remove the microscope body from the box and place on a clean, stable surface. Next, we will assemble the eyepieces. Please note that if you've ordered a DMI-1 with fixed eyepieces, you may skip this step. Remove the eyepieces from their case and place them into the microscope tube assembly. You can adjust the focus of the eyepieces by rotating the body of each eyepiece. You can adjust the interpupillary distance of the eyepieces by gently rotating the tube as shown. The brightness control dial is located in front of the focus knobs, located on the lower left side of the microscope. The coarse and fine focus knobs are located on both sides of the microscope. The coarse focus knob is the larger knob, adjacent to the microscope body. Identify the condenser name. In this case, S40 refers to the working distance of the condenser. Here, it is 40 millimeters. The condenser markings should match the transmitted light column markings. Set the height of your condenser by turning the thumb screw on the transmitted light column. There are heights marked for the S40 and S80 condenser. Once in position, tighten the thumb screw. Next, attach the condenser lens by rotating counterclockwise. For proper care, please avoid touching the condenser lens. Insert the round stage plate into the stage with the concave side facing down. The slider on the transmitted light column adjusts the aperture diaphragm. Open this diaphragm when performing phase contrast. You will have received either a two-position or four-position phase slider. The slider positions allow for bright field or phase contrast. The large opening on both sliders is reserved for bright field imaging. There are up to three phase positions, depending on the objectives being used. Please refer to the objective lens for appropriate phase slider position. The slider is inserted into the slot above the condenser lens. Gently move the slider depending on the contrast method and objective. Please ensure that the phase slider position and objective are matched. Next, we will assemble the objectives. The objectives have the following information. Color coding specific to magnification. The Leica part number. Magnification and numerical aperture. And the contrast method. This objective is phase one. Therefore, you should match to the phase one position on the slider when using phase contrast. The objectives will be inserted into the objective turret. First, remove the dust caps by turning counterclockwise. If you have less than four objectives, please leave the dust cover on the open space 
to prevent dust and contaminants from entering the microscope light path. Gently insert the objectives by rotating clockwise. Please avoid touching the lens of the objective. It's recommended that you have your objectives located in ascending order, based on magnification. When you rotate the objectives, please use the turret and not the objective itself to change the objectives. Next, insert the power cord into the back of the stand. The on-off switch is located on the right side of the microscope. That concludes our basic microscopy assembly instructions for the Leica DMI-1. Next, we will review assembly of the camera and object guide stage accessories. If you've purchased a camera stand, remove the camera from the box. On the back of the camera you will find a USB port for connecting the camera to the microscope, an on-off switch that allows you to turn off the camera when it's not in use, an HDMI port, an output selector so you can toggle between the HD monitor or PC, and the SD card slot, which is located on the side of the camera. Attach the camera to the C-mount on the back of the microscope. Take care to not cross-thread the camera. Please position the camera so that the back of the camera is facing up, as shown. Next, attach the USB cord to the camera. Attach the other end of the USB cord to the USB power port on the back of the DMI-1 microscope. Connect a PC or HD monitor to the camera if applicable. Attach the dust cover to the back of the microscope stage. The camera remote allows you to adjust the white balance, capture a still image, show and hide the image gallery from the SD card, show and hide the user menu, start and stop video recording, and stop or continue viewing a live image. For more details on the camera and remote, please refer to the instruction manual. Next, we will attach the object guide to the microscope. The object guide has two set screws that are attached to the stage. These will line up with the holes underneath the stage of the microscope. Carefully place the microscope on its side. Carefully align the screws to the holes underneath the stage and tighten. Insert the object guide inserts by attaching them to the clip mechanism of the object guide. To move your sample in the Y direction, please rotate the top stage control. To move your sample in the X direction, please rotate the bottom stage control. That concludes the Leica DMI-1 setup video. Please refer to the instruction manual, contact your local Leica representative, or visit our website at leica-microsystems.com for more information.